We'll begin with questions for Dreana Edwards or Ryan Howard. Please designate who you're directing your question to. If a question is for either player or both, please pick the player you want the question answered by first. We'll open for questions. Chantel Jennings with The Athletic. This question is for both Dreana and Ryan. You guys had a pretty long hug after the game and you were saying things to one another. I was just curious what you were saying to each other in that moment. Hey, we looked at each other and we both said, I love you, man. Rock kept saying thank you and I said, man, this one was for you. I had to get you one before you left, man. I had to. Go right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, Ky Kyra said last night that you, know, you started the season under a lot of pressure and she had a conversation with you about just having fun and enjoying the rest of this season. How did that help you kind of change your mindset and, and really enjoy the rest of this and end up here? Um, I just had to realize, like, I couldn't control what was happening. Like, it was, you know, like, nothing that could be done on my, end, on my end. So I just had to, you know, settle in and, you know, confide in my teammates and have fun with them and just, you know, go all out for them. For Drake, uh, you guys are down 15 late in the third. What changed in that fourth quarter? You particularly had 12 points, knocked down three threes, including the game winner. Uh, what happened in that fourth quarter and, and on that final shot? What did you see in knocking down the ball? Um, you know, I just kept telling my team, it ain't over, it ain't over. We just we kept hopping each other up, and they kept hopping me up, and they kept telling me, can't nobody guard you. Go out there and score, and I had to do it for my team. Um, obviously, you know, Treasure started with the ball there on that last possession. Was that kind of your all's game plan, or did it just kind of end up in your hands, Dre? What was the plan there? Um, it, it was whoever open going to shoot it. And they got me the ball. I was open. I had to let it fly. <laughs> I, I got two, one, one for you, Dre, and then one for you, Ryan. But, Dre, as a follow-up to that, I, how confident were you in that shot once you took it? It was going to go in. I was very confident. You know, I, I think I could shoot. You know, I knew I was going to hit the shot, so I just had to let it fly, like I said. Ryan, obviously, I think all eyes were on you uh, coming out of that timeout with 11 seconds to go. Uh, were you surprised at all that South Carolina decided not to foul and allowed you guys to have your possession, run, run your inbound, get the ball in, and obviously we saw what happened? Uh, we prepared for both. We said if they foul, you know, get the shot up so it's a shoe and foul. If they don't, whoever's open, take it, like Dre said. And Dre happened to be open, and we all knew it was going up. <laughs> it was going up. Two questions. The first is for Ryan. Ryan, I was just curious, when Dre takes that shot, what did you see? What did you feel? You know, in the movies, when they take the game winner and everyone's like, that was me. I was like, oh. Then it went in, like, it, I don't even know what I saw. Everybody was just jumping around. They didn't even, I don't know why they didn't throw the ball in, because we were not set. But yeah. it was one of those moments, like, picture perfect. You guys did have to regroup pretty quickly, though, play defense for about four seconds before you actually won. <laughs> Kyra was probably freaking out there for a second. I was. How long after the final buzzer did it register that you guys had won the championship? Immediately. We, it, it registered as soon as she hit that shot because we knew they didn't have any timeouts. We knew that, you know, some, we knew people were up there to, you know, slow them down if they did throw the ball in. But immediately as Dre hit the shot, yeah, we knew, it, like, it was game. We knew, we, like, we just won. This is for both of you. Everyone, no one knows the start of the season better than you two. So what does it mean to end the season like this for Cairo? Joanna, if you could enter this one first, followed by Ryan, please. Um, it means a lot. You know, we had bumped heads a little bit. <laughs> we had some up and downs for sure. But, you know, she told me stay poised. And, you know, I just got to do what I got to do. And, you know, my team held, me, held it down. And they, they was fighting all the way. So I knew when I got back, I had to fight too. And that's what we all did. We fought today. And we got the dub. Yeah, piggybacking off of that. We all, you know, bumped heads. I bumped heads a little bit too, but um, at the end of the day, like she had our backs more than anyone else, so we, we knew we had to step up for her and for ourselves. Yeah. Brian, I have one on Zoom for you. What has changed over the past 10 games for Kentucky on your current winning streak, and what does it mean to do something for the first time in 40 years for Kentucky? Uh, we started having fun. That's pretty much it. You know, when things were getting tough, we wasn't having fun. You know, we didn't. We, basically, we acted like we didn't want to be there, and that's how it looked, and that's how it appeared to our fans. And, we, you know, after, you know, we stopped, like, we had a team meeting, and we were like, all right, y'all, like, this is dead. Like, we cannot end like this, especially, like, with it being a lot of us being seniors and just meaning a lot to ourselves and to Kentucky. Um, we knew we had to, like, get it together and thug it out. 
Ryan, you spoke about the importance of Kentucky there. I mean, you guys had John Kyle Perry, President Capilouto, Mitch Barnhart, and, of course, your families were there. What did it mean to just have all those people supporting you after all you've been through this season? Um, one thing about BBN, like, they're never going to walk away from you. They're always going to support you through whatever the case may be, and that is exactly what they did today. Um, what Coach Cal mentioned, Dr. Capilouto being here is just extra motivation for us. You know, they don't uh, – come to a lot of our tournaments and stuff. So like we knew we had to thug it out and you know pull it out and get the win. Thank you, Dorian and Ryan. That's all we have. You're welcome to stay. You're gonna get back and celebrate. Thank Congratulations. You, Love though. you too. Go you celebrate. Go yeah. celebrate. Hey. Questions for coach. Kyra Chantel Jennings with The Athletic. You've talked about the meeting and they talked about it and they said they had fun, but I'm curious with, you know, in that meeting, you guys said it's do or die. You have to win, you know, to get to the tournament, to get where you guys want to be. That sense of urgency can make teams play tight. And for you guys, it made you have fun. I'm curious how that balance works. Well, you know, we're competitors. Um, and basketball is pressure field. And you, we've done it our whole life. And so I knew we had been put in situations when our back was against the wall and we had enough to step up. We're a talented team. Um, I was confident in them. Um, I have an amazing coaching staff uh, that just battled and worked nonstop, a support staff uh, that encouraged us nonstop. Um, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Barnhart, our athletic director. I mean, I received a call or a text message to say, you know, hang in there. I believe in you. You are our coach. Um, and we knew we just had to step up, and we did. With that, Kyra, you've become the first team to knock off the one, two, and three seed in this tournament and to win this title for the first time in 40 years. Uh, have you, I know I haven't had a chance to let that sink in, but uh, you've been around this tournament for uh, enough. Uh, can you put that in perspective yet? I cannot. It has not sunk in. However, um, you know, coming out of the timeout, like Ron said, we have prepared for both if they would foul us or if we're going to run our side out of bounds. Um, but, you know, I told Dre, if they go with Ryan, you are open. Take the shot. Rhythm shots. Don't make any decision. A rhythm shot. I'm confident in that shot. She works on it. Um, and when the shot went up, I knew it was good. It looked good. I started running down the sidelines. I knew it was good. But, you know, um, our team has been in tough situations all year long, and it's good to see it pay off uh, for the win for the Cats. Kyra, your team didn't look intimidated from the jump. You know, how did you see that confidence build through the end of this season, even this tournament? You know, we said in pregame, um, South, well, first of all, hats off uh, to Coach Staley and what she has done at the South, for South Carolina for women's basketball. I mean, the season that they have had, and they still have a lot of basketball uh, left to play. They're an amazing team. Um, but, you know, one thing we talked about in the locker room, we had played them twice and we hadn't backed down. It hadn't turned out in our favor, but we weren't going to back down today either. We knew we had to hustle. We knew we had to rebound um, and push and transition offense. And our players followed the game plan. Um, and I'm just proud of the tenacity of this team. In the back. Hey, Kyra. Uh a little inside it and would you mind paying just kind of paint the picture for us a little bit inside that that team huddle during the timeout with 11 seconds to go what what were you seeing on the ladies faces uh what were you feeling from them what were you feeling yourself uh, just could you give us a little insight there you know we were confident um one thing um having coach gail guest course on the staff uh, one thing she challenged me with at the beginning of the season um is every water break let's have a late game situation, a side out of bounds or a baseline out of bounds. So we probably have done uh, a hundred of those during the season. So our players were very composed and confident um, because we had went over it a thousand times. Um, so we knew exactly what we were looking for and thank God the shot went in. We've got one on Zoom. What specifically has the team done better on the, co on the court during this 10-game winning streak? Um, what we've done is we have, we're selling out defensively. You know, I told them no matter what happens, defense travels, uh, rebounds travel, the heart to compete travels. We will figure out something on the offensive end, um, but just sold out defensively. 
Dre Edwards has really taken off this season offensively and had a really you know, dominant performance this t tournament. What did it mean to see her get that shot, and what were you thinking when she let it loose? Rhythm shots. I was confident in it, and it looked good when it left her hands. Um, but, you know, I am so proud of Dre. You know, we did hit heads uh, early on, um, but she came back a, a better person, a better player, and committed to what we needed to get done in Kentucky women's basketball, and she has helped this program move forward. Now you have your ticket punched. You don't have to worry for the next no, week. No, we are not on the bubble. We have our ticket punched. We are going. How much does that help you as you spend this next week? And, and how do you, is it recovery? Do you try to hone things? What, what's the plan to try to, now that you have the streak going? Yes, we, we do have to have some recovery, um, rest, but we always do that coming off the SEC tournament, um, try to get people healthy. Um, and then we go back to work. Our job is, we're going to celebrate this SEC championship, um, but our job is not yet done. We still have work to do. Um, we look forward to playing the NCAA tournament and making a run. You're no strangers to cutting down nets as a player, but what does it mean to do it as a coach? What was that moment like for you? It really has not sunk in, but it is truly an honor um, to be the head coach at Kentucky. Um, now I can say I've won it as a student athlete. I've won it as an assistant coach, and now winning it as a head coach. Uh, this and to be your first, uh, this will be a memory that I will never forget. One more, and that's it. Just a quick one for you, Kara. Four games in four days. Did you have a sense for how the players' bodies were feeling coming into today? Um, I'm sure they were sore, um, but what I kept pumping in their heads, we have enough. We played four games in eight days twice this year. We played with six people. Um, we have enough, and it's going to be mentally uh, taxing, um, but that's why you practice. That's why you've been to the weight uh, training room, That the extra suicides, all for this moment, and they're not worried about feeling sore right now. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Go Cats!